Hey, what's up guys? It has been a minute since I've made a video and um, we lucked into the good fortune of, oh my heck, so much stuff. We had three private picks uh, Friday and wowza, the stuff in here you won't believe. It's just all really great stuff. So um, David and I have spread out a quilt in the dining room slash family room area. And we're gonna go through everything. And a lot of this is vintage Christmas. Um, and there's some really rare pieces in here. Um, oh my God, I can't even believe the things we got. So anyway, hold tight, we're gonna do a haul. Okay, so I spread this gorgeous quilt out and I am sitting on it, and um, we are just gonna start going through stuff. Okay, so we just got the first bin unloaded, and um, hi, hi, Lammy, hi, Peaches. They're making a little appearance. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. Um, so let's just start over here. We've got a Holly Hobby TV tray from the 70s. It's super cute. Um, a wonderful acorn pattern. This is a 19 think 1950s or 60s Pyrex pattern, the divided dish, um, some vintage new old stock towels. This one's totally 80s. Look at that. Hang in there, the koala. We've got this cutie. Love the florals. And then a Sterilite set. So good. Seven piece salad set with the bowls, um, the mixing bowl, and the utensils that all match, which I think is just so cool. Uh, some dance, a great um, stock pot, a yellow one, and then we also scored a red one as well. Uh, look at these glasses. Aren't they cool? Best switches, bon voyage, cheers. Good luck, welcome. Ding dong Ding. the bell. I think they're like kind of New Year's happy, but the colors, pink, yeah. blue, yellow, and then look at this kitschy, cute carrier. Oh, I love it. Got a little piece of butterfly gold. Needs a good washing. We're here for that. Cute Easter kitsch. This is vintage Fisher Price from uh, late 40s. Really, really cute piece. Some brass candle uh, holders for tapers. This groovy little Holly Hobby mug. So good. And then some Delphite teardrop bowls. I love these. This is kind of hard for me to part with because I don't have these. Yeah, that shape's pretty cool. I love the color and I love the shape. So, um, this is what was in my first box. And then look at this little Hazel Atlas set with the aqua. It's the large plate and then a saucer and teacup. And I just think this is fabulous. I love that color. That teal blue is great. So, um, the Hazel Atlas set, and we're going to dive into, this is all non-Christmas, so we're going to get into the non-Christmas, and then uh, we'll go into the vintage Christmas. So this was our first box. Here we go. Let's go to the second. All right, we got into the next box, and we've got this rad New York's World Fair tray from 61 through 63. Really cool. Love that. Make a great wall piece. Got some jadeite. It is a C-ring mug. And a little McDonald's milk glass with some that? hankies. I might just keep the C-ring. I'm not sure. If you keep the C-ring, I'm keeping the McDonald's. Uh-oh. See? Look. Hoarder problems. Here we go. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, Skipper has claimed Skipper. the kitchen towels. And I said, buddy... Um, you can't do that. You can't have them. And he said, but mama, I want them. I love mushrooms. I love mushrooms. So they are mushrooms. Um, they're cute. This is, I'll get it out for you in just a second. This is a neat little Inesco piece. Um, we've got some new old stock bunny banks. Look at this guy. I love those lashes. Just so kitschy and fun. This is a set of salt and pepper shakers. Look how cool this is. Absolutely precious. All fruity and fun. It's plastic and they sit in the little fruit bowl. Okay, now this I'm insanely jazzed about and it is, thank you, David just got the little shelf out that was in that Inesco box. Is that the cutest little train for Christmas? Yeah, Skipper again likes it. Back. Yeah, and it's got a little bell that's hanging on the back. Um, gorgeous afghan in blues in lovely shape and um, yeah, that will be so cute for Christmas tchotchkes. Look at that tray. So groovy. I oh absolutely God, love it. 
Okay, tell me more about the witch. David says, go back I'm to the so witch. I'm so excited about this. Yes, so it's a puppet, and she is handmade in England by Pelham Puppets. Look at the box. Oh, like new in the box. And um, it's new old stock. She's got her instructions and everything. There's her little hands. And she is the Wicked Witch. So we are just beyond excited about her. Really cool, excellent shape. And look at that face. It's almost like a celluloid face. Mm -hmm. Creepo, she's so cool. Um, a little metal tin toy. And then that box goes to this piece. And babe, this is Douglas, right? Oh, yeah, she's a yes. Dude. Um, old. New old stock. Yeah, 22 karat gold plated, super mid-century. Look never at that used. triangle shape. Yeah, never, never used. It is a flame-proof glass coffee maker. So really, really cool piece there. Uh, got an Empoli bottle. And I think, babe, that Empoli is the bullseye, right? I, I believe so. I it's really neat how it has the like the square and then the bullseye in the middle. So yeah. I'm pretty sure. Really cool. And then, of course, that beautiful little squatty one yeah little bubble squatty one i love and then it's a little cool. fenton thumbprint that goes with it all so we've got some pretty amber glass um some pyrex that is just great i love that pattern sweet little hawaiian dolly look how cute her face is she is beautiful um and then some more kitchen towels like new love this because it's got a little ladybug in it and Big Apples, 1975. And then this is a koala and a mushroom that went with that koala towel from earlier. And then this is a pear that's kind of like the apple. It's got a little squirrel and then daisies. So this is new old stock Pyrex in the box, which is always exciting to find. And <laughs> Skipper's all up in it. Look at this. It's like new. It's got the old packaging and everything, the original pamphlet. Um, and this is that acorn pattern as well. So I'm gonna save that for fall um, because I like to sell seasonal things when they're in season. But yeah, Cinderella, two and a half quart oval in the box, pretty exciting. And I think that is everything in that box. So we are gonna go on to the next bin right oh, there. Oh, I meant to show you guys, look at these. Humdinger in different colors. It's a humdinger. Oh my God, I had to get these. Are those not the cu cutest little, hi peaches. Uh, they're the cutest <laughs> little uh, like cottage cheese containers. I kinda maybe will keep these. I don't know, look at them, they're so good. All right, so. If you've known me for any amount of time or followed my channel or been to my sales or, you know, just in general known Sarah, well, um, I, again, am kind of speechless. So I'm just going to let you look because it's just so much good, cute, fabulous, kitschy, fun stuff. This is a little Mexican pottery guy. Got some neat little um, Monopoly things. David loves those littles. Look at this little girl with the deer. Oh my God. So sweet. Look at that. Um, that little girl is pretty darn rare. She is one of the Arnard ladies, but it looks like a Joseph, doesn't it? Oh, hold on, my focus is being weird in the sun. She's so cool. Um, yeah, it, it's just a lot. Um, this little guy, he's like a little cowboy. And he's got a little rope behind his back. Isn't he precious? Look at his britches. I just love him so much. This is a piece of Inesco that I've never seen before. And Queen for a Day, Mother Queen for Every Day. Um, really cool piece. Got its original foil tag. Uh, we've got large angels. Look at this little lady. She is cracking me up. Um, she's Napco. Um, I, I just, again, <laughs> speechless. When I went for this pick, I probably was just so quiet because I was freaking out about literally like everything. Everything was yeah. just so cute, so good. 
Norcrest little lipstick holder. Oh, and she really took good care of all yeah, of this. Yeah, she I did. Mean, a lot she, of this from her collection. I told her, I said, you have been such an excellent steward of vintage. Yeah. Um, look at this. I got a set of pink gooseberry. Um, <laughs> I just died over. A, a boomerang Another deer. boomerang deer that I just sold. So they just keep um, going back. And same deer I just sold, I got again. Um, I own these myself, these floral deer. Um, oh, and look at all the souvenir lot. This is like a bunch of really old souvenirs. Little pill box, coin box. Um, this is also a little coin box. What's a lighter? This is a little lighter. Just That's needs a little so bit of fuel. It still has the flint. And the uh, it's teeny tiny. It's like yeah. a Bitsy Zippo. That's a little Lucite uh, souvenir. Yeah. This was Too somebody's strange. little souvenir collection, and it's really here. cool. So, yeah, just... I'm keeping that guy. Yeah, David's keeping the Jersey stuff because that's um, his home state originally where he was born. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and then, look, we've got this gorgeous uh, pattern. And this is, I think, mm, not Fire King. It's something else. I'll have to look for sure. And I know that is Blue, uh, blue Heaven or Blue Dream. I can't remember. Um... But yeah, it just needs a good clean in, but so yeah. mid-century and fantastic. And I already have a pink Pyrex set, so the Gooseberry is coming for sale um, soon. But yeah, I just, I'm kind of in awe at all of the littles because y'all know this is just my stuff. Love this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, all right, next next bin. We're on to the next bin. I think we're on to Christmas now. Are we? Was that all of the... Um, Non All of the non-Christmas? So. Okay, fantastic. So we are going to head on over to the next bin. All right, so we were wrong. Um, we did have another box of non-Christmas, and I just found it. And there's all kinds. Oh, little dog down. Here you go, buddy. Um, again, this was all from a private pick from um, someone in Denver. And she's a collector and has been a collector for many, many years and had a bunch of stuff that she wanted to offload and get rid of and we said we're here for it we need stuff so um yeah just stuff galore as you can see i thought they were especially beautiful and so i picked them up they look like little child models we got some cutie pie little owls for our owl lovers some little flocked joseph things um, one of the little pets houses was in here. We have more in the Christmas stuff. Um, but yeah, just some really fun stuff that we love coming to you soon. I cannot wait. It was the best private pick. She was the nicest woman and we had just a lovely day with her. It was great. Okay, so there was just so much. Um, we've been kind of sorting as we go. So this is everything I'm probably going to bring Sunday night. You can see um, we've got a lovely little stack of pink gooseberry, some month girls, some little deer. Um, I think I'm also bringing probably the Delphite and the, that set with the Hazel Atlas, some little Joseph flocked buddies, buddies, and probably those bunny banks too. Um, so and I've got a couple other Easter things I'm probably going to throw in. Um, anyway, getting ready to dig into the depths of serious Christmas fun. There's some whole Howard Rock Law. Um, probably keeping that. Don't know yet. Trying to decide what to do because there is so much good stuff in here that I'm kind of overwhelmed. And if you see something that you're like, oh my God, I just have to have that. Don't hesitate to make me an offer on it now. Um, because I have far more Christmas than I can even hardly store right now, plus the Christmas I already have in the garage that I have scored since Christmas. So, Alrighty, so we are full on into vintage Christmas. I have never gotten to have one of these blow-up Santas. I'm thinking about keeping him. She said he does hold air. She just didn't like to put her mouth on his little, um... <laughs> <laughs> his little vintage spout. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I get it. I understand. They're old bacteria and such. But, yeah. man, he's really cute, and I really want to blow him up. And so Sarah said, oh, make David do it. Yeah, I did. That is exactly what I said. Maybe David will do it. 
Um, okay, got a cute little boot. Loving it. And it's got little brightly colored shenanigans in it. And um, then she had these massive bags. These are like the freezer gallon bags full of Jewel Brights. And look at these diorama ornaments. Um, it, it's, it's beautiful. And we've got the really cool, um, funky, the she put, there's some glass ones in there. There's tinsel. There's the trash-tastic plastic filled. There's balls. There's literally all kinds of wonderful ornaments. And then there's another bag full of Jewel Brights. All Jewel Brights in here. And one of those really cool, um bee honeycomb looking things, some bells, and then another humongous bag of jewel brights and dioramas and so on. Um, and they're just so expensive these days. It was so awesome to be able to buy in bulk. Oh my gosh, look at that one. There's a little bird in there. I've sold that one before. Um, these are absolutely fantastic. And they're all in really nice she shape. She stored everything with love. Yeah. And that is so appreciated when it comes to someone like me and the people that like to buy from us. You know, I like to sell stuff that's in nice condition. So I've got three enormous bags of the um, Jewel Brights. I've got a whole Howard Wink and Santa. He just needs some touch up on that nose, which is nothing. Um, 1959 with the original foil tag absolutely spectacular look at that green eye oh and there's some mugs in here somewhere that match him I just haven't found them yet so I'm thinking about keeping this but I don't know I don't know yet I, I'm kind of in a totally overwhelmed state honestly with everything because there's just so much to go through still and yesterday was just like pack it all up move it get and home, get it home you know so we didn't I mean while we looked at everything we didn't like deeply look at everything so there's just a lot to go through still so um here is some glittery fabulousness look at this diorama ball it lights up kind of like a ceramic christmas tree i just thought that was so cool i love it and then we've got a little angel blow mold she just needs a little cleaning she's she fell down and got dirty got some more got a christopher radko this was like a special edition heart ornament that I thought was very, very sweet. There it is. It was designed by a little girl named Annie. She was six and she's a cancer patient. So this was one of his charity ornaments. Thought it was super cool. So I grabbed that. And then we've got this little doodad. These were usually shiny bright and looks like he works. So that's going to be fun. Then we've got a set of five new in the box uh, Jewel Bright Diorama Ornaments. Look how cute these are. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. And then these are a couple of Radco balls. They're newer, but they're so pretty. I loved the pink and the green, so I snagged those. This is a newer little set of salt and pepper shakers, but they're cuties. And then um, this is a little light up tree topper wreath, and it's got little plastic lights. Um, inside the bells. I thought it was so cute. And then this little guy is in terrible shape, but clearly you can see why we took it for the name David. Um, and someone's gam gam worked their fanny off on this little piece. I and it. I know we both were like, yeah, we'll take that. We'll put it with our Krampus tree. And um, I just think it's so sweet. It's for naughty David. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Santa is blown up, ready to rock and roll. And I'm just going to pan over everything really quick. So, uh, and this isn't everything. There's still those boxes to go. Um, it was probably after the Halloween and Jadeite haul. This is probably my favorite haul ever. Um, it, it's beyond words. Um, this was a personal collector. She is not a reseller. Um, she was super sweet. She's someone that's thrifted. She doesn't go to estate sales anymore because people are aggressive. And she said the last estate sale she went to, um, 
people like put their arms across the door of the Christmas room because clearly she was a Christmas collector and that they barred her from getting in to the Christmas room at the last estate sale, estate sale she went to in 2022. And she said, you know, I just haven't been back. And I said, you know, we've had some weird experiences ourselves. And um, I get it. <laughs> I completely get it. Um, so she's not hitting the estate sale circuit anymore. But she had so many different things to go through. And literally, I said, do you really want to get rid of all of this? And her husband yelled from upstairs, yes, it all needs to go. And we were like... All right, well, we can help you with that. So, um, yeah, just the most spectacularly fun pick of my life, probably. I mean, I've had some fun picks. Um, was she was so sweet, though, and her yeah. hubby was so sweet. This was definitely up there at the top. <laughs> it really top was. Pick. like, And, like, it is Santa and the entire squad no. of rhinestone-eyed reindeer with Ray, with Rudy Rudolph at the end, like who has that? This is Holt Howard. For those of you in the know, um, that is just some sticker residue. But um, this is an epic, epic piece. Very expensive piece, and um, yeah, I got I got to score a Holt Howard train, you guys. Um, and then of course there's the Holt Howard little um, mugs. So I'm not sure if I'll be keeping that yet. I don't know. There's a lot of left in. I believe that's left in. Yeah, We've got trains. some. The train's left in. Yeah. Yeah. We've got some Target. We've got um, literally just a little bit of everything. How stinking cute is that? Have you ever seen that before? Like, ugh, just precious, precious stuff. Uh, look at these little candle climbers. So cute. And I know I've got some more candle climbers in there, too. Um some little old corsages, the great Santa mugs, more deer, um, another really cool Radco ornament. Look at this. It's gorgeous. So pretty. I love those. And then look at this Santa. He's super funny. It's a little squatty guy and he has a rubber beard. He is, um, very Harold Gale to me. Um, he's got a little paint off his nose, but I, th I think he's still just charming. So, super cute. Um, this is a darling little candle holder. Um, that's a tree topper. This looks like she thrifted this, and uh, it belongs to the Vermont Country Store. And it's Anna Lee for the Vermont Country Store. So, I didn't even know she was making stuff with rubber faces. I thought all of her stuff had the hand-painted faces. So I learned a thing. That's pretty cool. Um, she had this Wilton Santa stand-up cake pan, which I thought was just adorable. Um, a little coloring book. Um, a Hallmark little angel set up. Look at the little die cuts with the deer and the angels. That is so precious. I just love that. Um, yeah, I'm in hog heaven, honestly. I've... I've not had a pick that brought me this much joy in <laughs> so long. Uh, we've got multiple little Santas. And uh, we've got some kissy face little flocked guys. She also collects flocked stuff like I do. So she and I had some great conversation about little flocked uh, weirdos. This is also a Holt Howard piece here. How cool is that? Looks like she thrifted that. How awesome. She was a great thrifter, and I told her, you've been such a good steward of vintage. Everything was packed so nicely, and she kept everything so sweetly. And I told her, I'm like, I'm so honored that, you know, you picked me to come and uh, and help you clear out some stuff. So I said, you picked the right person, and uh, we made some deals. I got all of this, honestly, for an outrageous deal, and she said a particular amount and I gave her more than what she threw out because holy beans. Like, I mean, you just don't have picks like this every day. So anyway, oh my God, I'm freaking out. I can't, um, I just can't believe all of it. It's just, it's almost more than the eye can handle, yeah. you know, um, just precious, precious things. And I told her, I'm like, your collections are just so 
sweet and good. And there's a little Gilner pixie. Um, oh, everything's great. And I love blow up Santa. I'm so here for him. I love him. He might have to stay with us. He might have to stay. I love this guy too. Look at those fluffy little reindeer antlers. What a cutie. This guy's newer. I don't even know what he is, but she said, I had two of them. So you just take one. And I said, okay, I will. So, <laughs> um, and that was what was neat too, is she bought a lot of thing in, things in duplicates. So some of what she gave me, she already had, and she had two of them. And she's like, you take it. And I'm like, okay, great. So yeah, it's just an epic score of um, historic proportion. <laughs> All right, so just unloaded another box. And we have a little bit of everything. We got the Nightmare Before Christmas guy. Look at this little plastic planter. I think that is so fun. These little bells. This guy's awesome. Snowman, I own that. I love this ornament. This is one of those <sighs> little whirly winds where it spins. And I love um, that it's got glitter on the front of it. That's pretty cool. I might keep that. I don't know. It's hard not to keep everything, but I have so much Christmas stuff. It's obnoxious. So <laughs> never too much Christmas, right? Um, another one of those little lanterns. Some little deer salt and peppers. Some little houses. What is this? I don't even know. Okay, so these I think are really cool. And they're some kind of Victorian thing. I don't know if they're tree old, old tree toppers or what exactly they are. Um, I'm going to have to find out for sure. But man, these are so cool. Love them. Love them, love them. Got some more little dioramas. Little Christmas corsage. Fun things for crafties. Look at these teeny tiny little boogers on these houses. Mercury um, glass ball head angels. And their little Santa. That's like a little blow mold planter. Really cute. Some new old stock little um, ornaments. These little pixies. There's a couple of those. So cute. That's a little ceramic Santa dish with a rhinestone eye. It's really old. I have sold this before, a long time ago. Um, this dates to like the 30s, I believe. It's very, very old. Look at that little guy. I love him. He's so happy and cute. Fun star. Oh, she's beautiful. Look at her with that hand painted face bunch of Bradford bells. These are really great for wreath making, collecting. There was one, look at this little bell. I thought this was cool. There's like a little um, pink mercury glass ball dinger inside. Just great. Little Winkin reindeer. Some fluffy flocked balls. Look at these little angel girls. They are so great. Oh my gosh, what a haul, right? I know, I'm kind of overwhelmed, I'll be honest. Like, we're wrapping each piece up individually and putting them all away nicely, and there's just so much. We still have all that to go through. So, <laughs> all right, let's keep it moving. Here we go. And welcome to the balls section of the Christmas. Balls. Yum yums. Balls. Balls everywhere. Mm. Balls in your face. Mm. Glittery balls silky, shiny, um, balls, mm -hmm. like gl glitter. I mean, just even fuzzy ones. Yeah. We even got fuzzy ones. Check out those blue. Aren't they cool? That electric blue. And then we've got red flocked pairs and then solid red flocked mm -hmm. balls. Those are rad. And then look at all these pretty stripy ones. Oh, I'm nuts about the aqua. That's a whole thing of pretty shiny brights. These are Polish. Um, holy smolies. Look at those. I love that candy stripe. Oh, and did I mention there's another entire bag of Jewel Brights? So I've got another gallon bag of Jewel Brights in here. Um, and then this is everything that I've packed away, put away for selling. Um, yeah. And then that whole box we're going to go through is ornaments. So, yeah, 
just so much stuff. It doesn't even make any sense. I'm so excited. Um, look at these jewel brights. I've never seen them. They have big bottle brush trees inside. Um, some of these jewel brights are the great big ones that I've never even seen before. So there's just, holy cow, you guys, there's just some epic stuff in here. Um, it's very, very exciting. So anyway, I'm going to put all my balls away and then we are going to move on to the next box of ornaments, but you just had to see all my balls. Look at this. And then there was more. Um, I'm just going to, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So let's just start over here on this side and I'm going to just look. Honestly, I was in such a hurry yesterday and we were talking and I didn't really get to absorb a hundred percent what all was here. Um, this is a whole Howard ornament, which I had not seen before. And look at the little uh, mercury glass bead spray tail and he's all glittered up. So sweet. Original Holt Howard tag. Um, <clears throat> super cool. I, I'm like, David and I are exhausted just from going through everything. We're pooped. Um, and again, I, we went through it all yesterday, but like very quickly. And we were chatting at the same time. So my brain is just kind of on overload right now. Um, there are so many little neat things I have never seen before. Um, it's just, and tons of spun cotton head little guys and flocked okay, so, guys. So yeah, just tons of vintage little spun cotton head friends, um, chenille flocked funsies, dioramas, uh, a jewel bright tree topper, um, the little nursery rhyme flocked babies. Look at these Santas, Santas of every kind. This little train, every single ornament in the train is uh, a separate ornament. Um, just kitschy goodness as far as I can see. And I have two wise men, but we have a third one because guess what? I found another box we still have to go through of uh, Christmas stuff from yesterday. So just, uh, I'm kind of speechless to be honest with you. I I don't think I've ever had a more just fun haul of goodies and things. Um, this little bird thing, God, I kind of want to keep that. Um, and so much of it I want to keep, but like I have duplicates of a lot of this. I already own that guy. Um, Look at these little deer. They are just precious. And beautiful multicolored mercury glass garland. Um, look at the little snowmen up here. Little snowmen I've never seen before. Little elf friends. This little stockinette guy in a boot. Um, yeah, it was a really good haul. <laughs> I think that's an understatement at this point. But yeah, it was... It was a good haul. So we are, I think, gonna finally be down to what I'm kind of hoping is the last box because I'm poop. Okay, I was putting these away in tissue paper and look, they are little babies with stars. I didn't realize they had stars. The little stars were all wadded up under them and I just pulled them out. <gasps> okay, I'm probably keeping those, I'm just saying. So precious, I can't take it. Oh, my stars. Okay, so, you know, nothing like saving an epic box for last. <sighs> okay, so these girls are all Holt Howard, and they are little taper holders. Um, just so, so sweet. Oh my gosh, she's got the bells. She's got her little muff, and then this girl has the sugar glaze and bells. I've sold these girls before. I have never sold these girls before. So those all have their original Holt Howard stickers. Super duper cool. And then look at these little Napco candle climber guys. They're precious. There's three of them. This is a little Joseph girl. This one has a little boogered up spot, but they're cute. These little guys are cracking me up. I think they're so funny. They kind of remind me of little leprechauns. And then look at the band. We've got a whole angel band. Aren't they cute? Um, they are all made in Japan, and I love the little spots on their outfits. 
another little angel. These are left in candle climbers. I had never seen those before. I think they're beautiful. Uh, we got a little pixie guy. He's super sweet. Another little family of deer. There's four of them, and they all have on this fabulous blue eyeshadow. And then we've got the little putts ornament, spun cotton head Santa. This little gal is made by Lufton. I can't find my third wise man, but I know he's in here somewhere. So I've probably just overlooked him. Um, and then look at all of these vintage light bulbs. Oh my goodness. Look at the bird. I'm just dying. And then this is a little Holt Howard uh, Santa taper holder candle piece. Um, those are little wax lanterns. And this was the contents of my very last box. So um, that was my pick. As you can tell, private picks are a whole lot of fun. Um, I am intensely grateful to the individuals that made all of this possible. And I'm thrilled to have such exciting Christmas inventory coming in July. And then of course, some will be saved back for December. Um, and leading up to December, I usually start selling Christmas um, earlier than that. So, so much for hanging out, watching our video. Um, we will definitely be having some serious goodies coming on Sunday night. Um, that's David's stuff over there. And here's my stuff that's coming Sunday night as well. So definitely come and join us for the fun on the Coleman Collective. That is on my channel, The Traveling Button. 8 p.m. Sunday evenings and 8 p.m. Thursday evenings, and that is Eastern. All right, you guys, peace, love, and vintage. Until next time, thanks for hanging out.